Good afternoon, I'm Sharon Yu. Thanks for joining us. Snow, showered, snow showers made for a slippery morning commute. From 6 a.m. to 10 a.m., the Minnesota State Patrol says they saw at least 80 crashes, 24 spinouts, and one jackknifed semi. Four people suffered injuries. Some roads may still be icy in places, so please be careful out there. The Minneapolis City Council has passed the 2023 budget. Council members met for hours last night before finally coming to an agreement. The budget allocates nearly $1.7 billion in spending for the city. Among other things, it focuses on community safety, with nearly $13 million going to improve street lighting throughout Minneapolis. The budget now heads to Mayor Jacob Fry's desk for his signature. Meanwhile, Minnesota lawmakers have now nearly $18 billion dollars of surplus to work with. Governor Walls wants to give part of that surplus back to taxpayers with direct checks 1,000 for single taxpayers and 2,000 for joint filers. The governor acknowledged the idea didn't get a lot of positive response last year, even from fellow Dems, but he says he has renewed hopes now that the surplus has grown significantly from 9.2 billion to 17.6 billion dollars. But I still go back to this. If you want to reduce some of the costs in, for the short run and make an impact on families, especially those who really need it, um, it's one of the most effective ways. So House and uh, Senate DFL leaders say again. it's too early to commit to the rebate checks because they have not discussed it yet with rank and file members. They said they will hold hearings on the idea and weigh it against other forms of tax relief. The state budget will not be set until May. A new contract deal to avert a massive Minnesota nurses strike still needs final union approval. After months of talks, thousands of nurses across the Twin Cities and Twin Ports were able to work out tentative agreements with area hospitals yesterday to avoid a 20 day walkout. The new contract gives nurses the largest raises in more than 20 years and includes unprecedented new language to address staffing shortages. Again, the nurses still have to vote to ratify the contract. Meanwhile, there could still be a strike at St. Luke's Lakeview Hospital where 18 union nurses work. The major water main break that happened Monday evening is still causing headaches in North Minneapolis. The city says if you live in the 15 block area of North 2nd Street between North 26th and Lowry, Lowry Avenues, you are still under a boil water advisory. If you live in that area, you should boil your water for three minutes before using it for cooking or drinking. The advisory will remain in effect until the city runs tests to find if the water is safe to drink. Now let's turn to wet weather. This is a live look outside and boy, that little bit of snow was enough to slick things up for the commute this morning, Ben. Yeah, it's uh, not great timing with the snowfall and in and around the metro, we ended up with about an inch or so of snow, but areas in central Minnesota ended up getting between two and up to four inches of snowfall. You can see some of the totals we've seen today. Little Falls, Long Prairie, Alexandria, about a, uh, three inches of snow. Areas around St. Cloud, one to two inches, and you can see the totals drop off the further south you go. Now there's the leftover snow showers moving across central Wisconsin, a clearing sky around the state of Minnesota, and you can expect to see a good amount of sunshine through the remainder of the day. However, Despite the sunny sky, temperatures are going to hold steady in the mid to upper teens. Even parts of northern Minnesota might have a tough time getting into positive territory today. So yes, sunny, but it will be on the chilly side. Here's your seven day forecast, and we do have several more chances for some wintry weather in the forecast. Mostly dry and quiet tomorrow, just a cold start, but temperatures warming into the low 30s by the afternoon. Look for snow to move in late Thursday night. That could impact Friday morning's commute, especially for the uh, southern end of the metro and in the southern part of the state, maybe another inch or two here around the Twin Cities. Mostly quiet this weekend, then we are eyeing up a rather messy weather system that could give us a combo of rain, sleet, and snow early next week. A lot of details on that, and we will continue to update you as we get closer to that one, Sharon. All right, Ben, we'll enjoy that sun while we have it. Thank you. Flu is still set steadily and consistently making headlines in our state. Tonight at 5, we'll hear the latest guidance from the Minnesota Department of Health when it comes to getting flu shots. All this to keep your family safe during upcoming holiday gatherings. Thanks for being with us. We'll be back for more headlines and updates in just 30 minutes. Stay with us.